I'll do a count to lead it in. One, two, three, four. Prejudice to guitars that have plastic backs. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Feel free to experiment around a little bit. things I should mention now is that first off neither the rhythm through there nor the improvising part over the rhythm were what I would consider the ideal but I think you get the point nonetheless hey what's up everyone how you all doing I guess I don't need these yet what's up loco what's up Gary Gary we love having you here obviously star of the show uh, Michael Mark how you doing Mr. Langford tuning in from work. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Liz. Hey, Blake. Oh, I hope everyone is having a good evening. As you can see, my room is a little bit different. I painted it. Uh, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> also, I made these soundproof uh, or this like, you know, sound treatment, uh, these panels, but you can't really see them. It's too dark, um, but they're kind of three dimensional. It's very neat. Uh, but, you know, it's only for me to enjoy, apparently, because you can't see it on stream. Uh, <laughs> maybe you'll be able to see it better in the YouTube videos. <laughs> so, is, is Jacob here? I feel like Jacob suggested this game. If you don't know what's going on, 
Michael. Jacob su suggested a game where we listen to audio clips and we try to guess who the flat picker is. And uh, I would be ashamed to play without him, but I think that might be the way it goes. Um, if anyone remembers differently, was it Jacob? Am I wrong? I think it was Jacob. Um, but yes, this is a, a kind of a, a Jeopardy style game where <laughs> you, uh, you get like a clue and then you have to guess who it is and then we'll see who it is. Um, just need some more mood lighting. Yeah, we can turn up the mood whenever we want. Uh, ooh, a little more moody. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the red. I kind of like, I kind of like the yellow in here right now. It doesn't really look yellow on stream though. I mean, it does a little bit. It looks like warm. It was Jacob indeed. Oh, bummer. Jacob's going to miss it. Well, hopefully he shows up and we'll be able to play the game with him. Um, so the the first thing. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yes, this is a yes, I am bluegrass picker. The Tony Rice unit Japan tour 85. This was originally a button that they were selling in Japan. It was like their merch. And uh, of course, there is a, a typographical error here that I'm sure was made by some poor Japanese intern. Uh, <laughs> but I got uh, I got an image of the button and I managed to trace the text and make this t-shirt. I haven't made it available on the website because I'm not sure I wanna dabble in, you know, very specific illegal Tony Rice merch. Of course we do dabble in uh, unlicensed Tony Rice merchandise, but this seems a little, seems a little blatant. Maybe I'll just keep the one for myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so the first thing that we need to do before we play the game is we need to come up with a team name, obviously. Um, I, I think just calling you guys chat is boring. I think a much better name would be Wagon Dragons, but I didn't know if you guys wanted to stick with your current theme. Uh, so uh, can you guys tell me if Wagon Dragons is a good name or not? Or if you have a better team name for this game, please shout out your preferred team name. I like Wagon Dragon, so I just, you know, I want to throw it out there. I don't want to make decisions for you. Obviously, this is your game, and uh, and you're competing against yourselves. <laughs> oh, God. Well, maybe Wagon Dragons can just uh, live on in all, in all future games that we play, not just Oregon Trail. All right, I got to vote for Wagon Dragons from Liz. Okay, everyone wants Wagon Dragons. I appreciate it. I'm, I, I'll get in here. I ain't got no problem with spamming my Wagon Dragons memes. Okay. <laughs> I love it, you guys. So good. Okay, let's get into the game. So <laughs> it has to be Wagon Dragons. And I'm busy tonight. Oh, Mason, you're missing out. Thanks for being a member and using your super chat, though. Guys, if you are a member, you might have a a free chat lying around. Feel free to shout things at me. I appreciate it. It's part of the lore now. It's got to be Wagon Dragons. That's true. Okay, let's move on to the game. Welcome, everyone, to the game of the century. Guess that, Flatpaker. Um, as you can see... <laughs> There are three categories on the board. The categories are Church Street Blues, Cherokee Shuffle, and Nine Pound Hammer. And as you can see, there are five clues in each category where we will listen to an audio sample. And then we will all scream who we think it is. Here's the best part of this game, is that I've forgotten what the answers are. You may think that I'm lying to you, but I have, I have forgotten what the answers are. And nowhere, anywhere does it say what the answers are. So I think we're going to play this one together, is what I'm thinking. And I think it's going to be just so difficult. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure somewhere there's files that I have labeled, but I made this like, I don't know, maybe five days ago. So it's out of my brain. You can see we have Wagon Dragons at the bottom. This is where we're going to, you know, uh, keep track of our score here. We can update that manually whenever we get something right. Um, I'm going to just take one second real quick and restart this game, and then we're going to jump in. All right. Sick. 
We should be good to go. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. All right, where, what category do we want to start in? Oh man, a game without me? I'd better leave now or I'll stay here instead of painting the large 300 foot fence I've been painting since Sunday. Yeah, that's quite the task, man. Okay, so first question is uh, what, what subject we'd like to address. We have uh, Church Street, we got Cherokee, and we got nine pound hammer. I'm putting a vote in chat. Please vote in that chat and we will pick our first category. We will also pick uh, which option we're gonna pick. We're just gonna do that by shouting in chat. So if you wanna shout 100, 200, 300, 400, or 500, feel free to sh shout that out. And also we're gonna take the vote on which subject we're taking. It looks like Church Street Blues has an early lead. You guys know that that is gonna be the most difficult category because everyone tries to play it like Tony Rice. So we have picked Church Street. What, <laughs> what difficulty do we wanna go for? We picking 100 level, 200 level, 300 level? Shout it out, let me know. Church Street is probably gonna be the hardest. Everyone plays the same break. You'd be surprised. There is, there is actually a couple weird breaks in that category, if I remember correctly. Alyssa says 400. Mickey voted. Thanks for voting, Mickey. Okay, Church Street, Church Street is the subject. I only got one vote for 400. Anyone else shouting out a number? Anyone want to go for 100 level and take it easy on the hardest category? It's up to you guys. You pick what you want. But I see Liz voting for 400. That seems like it's what we're going to go with. Oof. Gosh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 400 gang. Let's see what's under here. <laughs> okay. I got a second for 400. I'm in. All right. What's this sound like? is that are there double jeopardies i don't know <laughs> i don't think so uh who, who is this flat picker now i i will tell you since this is not a multiple choice i have not i have not tricked you in any big way uh these are all very well-known flat pickers uh there there is no <laughs> there is no trickery going on do we think this is tony rice molly tuttle trey hensley or like i don't know billy strings who who could this be All right, Loco says that it's it's OG Tony Rice. I don't I don't think it is OG Tony. Does Tony do that? Does Tony do the pickup? Does Tony go? I guess I'm in the wrong key. Does does Tony do the pickup? Or does he just start right on the beat? Okay, I see the most votes for Tony. I'm locking in your guys' answers, Tony. We're we're voting Tony. I got one. I got one Trey. I got one Molly. I got one Josh Williams. If any of you are right, does anyone else guess weird? I don't think so. Everyone's saying Tony. Let's see who it is. Are we ready? I, f I feel like everyone thinks it's Tony. I don't want to do a vote. I don't want to drag this out. Okay, now we got people thinking it's Josh. All right, so Tony and Josh are the most most popular ones. Let's ask that question. Tony Rice, Josh Williams. Who is it? Let's just do it one more time. It is Tony's version for sure. All right, I'm seeing the most votes for Tony Rice. We're gonna run with that. Here we go, your answer is Tony Rice. Show it to me, who is it? Ooh. Looks like we got a little Josh Williams here. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, boys. That was a, a 400 question. We're starting the game off at negative 400. Good, good job. Good, good job going for the hard ones, though. <laughs> That's a tough one. Josh Williams sounds just like Tony Rice. He's famous for like copying the Tony Rice sound, and he played with the unit for years. I mean, he's probably got the closest Church Street Blues to Tony. Tough, tough one. Tough game. Tough game. All right, let's uh, let's let's pick another category. Where are we going? I knew it was too clean to be the original Tony recording. <laughs> uh, let's see, Cherokee and Nightbound. Everyone vote. Tell me where we're going next. If you got an idea for a difficulty, shout it out. Uh, options are 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Of course, we've already done 400 in Church Street Blues, so that's not going to happen. Do we want to go to another category, or do we want to stay with Church Street? Um, <laughs> if it sounds like Tony, but you get the feeling it's maybe not Tony, it's Josh Williams. Michael Mark knows what's up. That's true. Damn, soundstage and tone were very similar to the Homespun TR version. Threw me off. It is very similar to the, the Homespun version. But yeah, he did that one like in front of a camper, which is funny. Um, <laughs> all right, looks like Cherokee Shuffle and Nine Pound Hammer are tied. I need one more vote to break that tie. Someone tell me you want Cherokee Shuffle or Nine Pound Hammer. First vote is for a 200. Anyone else want a second Loco Joe's 200? Looks like Nine Pound Hammer has pulled ahead, so we're going Nine Pound Hammer. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Um, did Marcel remember to make the difficulty scale appropriately, or did he only do that for two of the three categories? Don't remember. I did Nine Pound Hammer last. It was a long time ago now. Uh, anyone else want to second that 200? I feel like Loco's got a good idea. We should go for 200. <laughs> You're avoiding like the, the easiest ones too, which is funny. Okay, people are seconding 200. Let's pop in. Nine pound hammer, 200. What does it sound like? Kind of a cool break. It is kind of a neat break. Who could that be? I'm trying to remember who it is. I can't remember who it is. Clarence White? No, it's more modern than that. Loco Joe's got a good guess with Brian Sutton. Here's what's going on in my head. I'm thinking that this is a, a, a talented player who's playing a slightly simpler break um, because there's some things in there that I feel like are more difficult, but they're just playing it kind of casual, um, you know, almost like it's the first break in a recording. That's what I feel. Brian Sutton, Chris Eldridge, I think those are good guesses. Uh, Nicholas says not clean enough to be Brian. Yeah, even if Brian was playing simple, he might play it a little cleaner. Any other ideas? Let's just do it one more time. That last lick, the way that last lick feels, make you not think that it's Norman. I've never heard Norman do something like that. I mean, it is it is kind of that vibe though. It's kind of strummy in there. Everyone's thinking vintage, really. Marcel, it was a good guess. Okay, we got two votes for Chris Eldridge. Um, let's see, who do we have? It looks like it's Norman or Chris Eldridge. I'm seeing the most Norman and Chris Eldridge. I'm writing Critter. 
critter is Chris Eldridge if you ain't if you ain't hip to that. Who do we think it is? Do we think it's Norman or Chris Eldridge? Go ahead, vote in that poll real quick. We'll see what happens. I you know that one lick makes me think that maybe it's not Norman. If I if I was able to vote in the poll, I'd probably vote for Chris Eldridge. If it was me. Um yeah, that lick is something else. Totally. Some some guesses for Molly Tuttle too. That's a good guess. Although, is it is it clean enough for Molly Tuttle? Would Molly Tuttle do that break cleaner if she was going to play it? <laughs> Did you throw us off and it's actually Billy? I mean, there's that double stop work that we just heard, like right here. I don't feel like I hear Billy do double stops quite like that. Um, it seems like everyone is voting for Critter. I'm going to end that poll. Let's see if it is Critter. Mm, so tense. Too much hot TR style to be Norman. That's right. Ooh. And it is Critter. Nice, guys. Nice, guys. <laughs> I feel like Molly would go for more articulate cross-picking than the strumming. Yeah, I feel that, too. Um, okay, let us go with... Oh, yeah, we got to add our points for that, right? That was a 200. We're at negative 200 now. Oh, I love it. Recorded in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, it feels like that. You're just hearing poor modern recording quality. <laughs> okay, let's check this out now. I knew it was Critter because I've been meaning to request we could transcribe one of the later breaks he does on this version. Adam, thanks for not spoiling the game. Um, but awesome that you knew that. I do not know that performance. I didn't even remember what it was. Um, <laughs> all right, just your blues, check shuffle, nine pound hammer. Where are we going next game? This game is great. Cool idea, man. Not my idea. Once again, this was Jacob's idea. He suggested it on stream and, uh, unfortunately he is not here right now, but I wish he was. Nice learning experience on this game. Yeah, it is, right? You really have to kind of critically listen to these breaks. Looks like we're going to Cherokee Shuffle. Everyone shout out numbers. Do you want 100, 200, 300, 400, 500? Tell me where we're going. Everyone shout that out. If you like a number someone else picked, remember you can second it. That would be very helpful as well. I'm going to end this poll. Looks like Cherokee Shuffle is where we're going. Give me that jerky shuffle. <laughs> someone shout it out for me. Where are we going? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500? I need to know. I need to know where are we going. I should have put some background music on this. All right, all right. now we're, we're getting some different things. Mickey says 500, but he's been outvoted. <laughs> 100, I need a win. Everyone's saying 300. 300 on Cherokee Shuffle. What are we going to get? I feel like I didn't get enough info from that one. Wait a second. Let me listen to that again. All right. So we know, we know that it's a band setting. It's a band setting. Um, so it's not a solo performance this time. And I feel like the banjo work is really good. Like we got really hip banjo comping in the background. <laughs> so someone with a really good banjo player. Uh, okay. 
let's see who, who we're getting the guesses. Billy, I don't think it's Billy. If you think it's Billy, I, I think that's a miss. Um, this is a very interesting break. Almost got a Brian vibe. I feel that. Tuttle, I feel that. Um, right, Brian again. Tony, uh, it doesn't feel like Tony to me. Um, Brian Sutton. Uh, David Greer, we got two votes for David Greer. That's interesting. Sounds like Josh Williams. Uh, does it sound like Josh Williams? I see... I see a couple Brian Suddens and I see a couple David Greers. If anyone else has anything, shout it out. But I think that's what we're going to whittle it down to. Um, I also see some Billy guesses, but I really don't think it's Billy. If it is Billy, then you guys can fire me and find another game show host. Uh, <laughs> it looks like we got, what was it, Brian Sutton and David Greer? Those are solid guesses. Could be Kyle Tuttle on Banjo with Molly Tuttle. I don't know. I want to say that. I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds. It sounds like hip banjo work back there. I guess it could be like Bela or something. Or someone doing like a Bela thing. Okay, let's let's ask. Out of those two choices, who do we think it is? Uh, these were your your top suggestions. And um, once again, if it's if it's Billy Strings, then then I retire. Uh, I think these are solid guesses. We think it's Brian Sutton. We think it's Brian Sutton, really. Let's just do it one more time. Yeah, I feel that. I feel the Brian Sutton guess. I get that. I back you guys up. Okay. Big reveal. Who is it? Oof. It's David Greer. We're so close. We're so close. Oh. <laughs> and I'm over here like the banjo playing sounds really good. It's Tony Trishka and it's Don Pakelli. Guys, you, you whittled it down to the correct two answers, and unfortunately, we went with Brian Sutton. That's okay. Let's, let's back that back down. It's okay. We can still come back from this. We can still get wins. Okay, we've already had a win. We can get more wins. Let's ask that big question again. What category are we going for? Uh, okay. Are we going for... Back to Church Street, where we suffered maybe our most humiliating defeat. Um, Cherokee Shuffle has not been our our best performance, but we did take a win on Nine Pound Hammer, I believe. Um, okay, where are we going, gang? Hey, what's up, Russ? How you doing? We're playing a game right now. I even watched that video recently and still got it wrong. I should retire. <laughs> Easier to tell them from the B part. Well, you know, what am I going to do? I can't give you the B part at all. Well, what tune are we picking, gang? <laughs> looks it looks like everyone wants Church Street Blues. It's because you were defeated on Church Street Blues last time. You think, hey, maybe we can win Church Street Blues this time. It is the hardest category. Um, what difficulty do we want? Remember, Church Street Blues is a difficult category, so maybe picking massive numbers might not be the move. Uh, do we want 100, 200, 300, or 500? There is no 400 at Church Street Blues because we found out that that was Josh Williams, I believe. Uh, <laughs> what difficulty are we picking? Oh, let me let me not forget Loco Joe's suggestion. What's the difficulty? seven right there. That's good. I'm glad we learned that. All right, we got, we got a couple votes for 200. Michael, Mark, and Nicholas want 200. Let's say 500 for last so we can knock off a few of the list. So 100. Oh, I got, oh, I still got the most votes for 200. We're going 200. I think 200 is the choice. 
All right, here we go. Church Street Blues, 200. Here we go. <laughs> I like how we're just listening to the same break over and over again, you know, like really seriously, like, mm, yeah, maybe this is so, everyone's playing the same break on Church Street Blues, man. This one is, the tone is so Trey. That's a good guess. We know that there's a video of Trey playing Church Street Blues because we transcribed it recently. OG Tony, Tony, Dan Taminski. Yeah. He did this one with Molly Tuttle, I think, on that record. Definitely not Tony. Come on, if that's not the Home Spun version. So <laughs> this is so interesting because some people are saying, oh, no, that sounds just like Trey. And other people are saying, come on, that's the Home Spun version. And then we got Michael Mark being like, nope, not Tony. Okay, let's just do it one more time. It's so difficult. It seems like maybe the most guesses are for Trey and for Tony. I retract, that's Trey. Okay, most, most votes for Trey and Tony. Do we think it's Trey Hensley or do we think it is Tony Rice? Let's find out. I'll support the Trey cause. <laughs> Did I even include Tony Rice in this category? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got the most votes for Trey. I'm comfortable with killing the poll now. Um, <laughs> Remember, if you're not watching live, you should click the little live button <laughs> so you can catch up to the, the most recent moment on stream so you can get in on these polls. Looks like everyone is saying Trey, so let's go with Trey. All right. Trey is our answer. We're locking that in. Uh, computer, please reveal the correct response. Ooh. Congratulations, guys. Everyone remember what I sound like playing Church Street Blues, so if this comes up, you'll know who it is. You guys get points for that. Here we go. We're, we're up to negative 300. We're killing it now. We're really killing it. <laughs> uh, his right hand attack is so powerful. I feel like it makes his tone super distinctive. I agree. Trey does have sort of a hammer for a right hand. All right. Let's keep going. We got to pick what category we're going to next. Uh, and once again, if you're just joining us, the categories are Church Street Blues, Cherokee Shuffle, and Nine Pound Hammer. We have, we have had success on Nine Pound Hammer. We've had a little success on Church Street Blues. We've had a little difficulty with the Cherokee Shuffle category. Um, everyone tell me, where would you like to go? I love that you, I love that you all found Trey. Remember, <laughs> remember to scoot the play out of this video all the way down so you're watching live. I still see people shouting out, Trey. I want to make sure that you're not, you're not behind on the times. All right. Looks like everyone's voting Cherokee Shuffle. Let's see if we get any more votes. I assume it's going to be Cherokee Shuffle because we're kind of randomly moving around the board. We're not sticking with a single category. Let's do it. Looks like it remains Cherokee Shuffle in the lead. Cherokee Shuffle, shout out what difficulty you want. You want 100, 200, 400, or 500. Uh, if you see someone has already shout outed, uh, shout outed, shouted out a difficulty that you like, you can second that, and then I'll pick it. So I'm looking for 100s, 200s, 400s, 500s. 
Chad just has a lag. I don't think it's Chad that's lagging. I think it's me that's lagging. But that's all perspective, right? Uh, <laughs> tell, me, tell me what difficulty we're going for. Abe says 400. Is anyone second Abe? Looks like we got a couple 400 votes. That's great. I, I will agree with that. Unless I see other things just slamming out there. Looks like everyone... Oh! We have the, the 500s are coming out now. <laughs> Russ says, whatever you want. Okay, okay, okay. Looks like we got a little bit of a competition here. I think we're all tied up. 400 to 500? Oh, I think the 400s have it. Oh, now they don't. Okay, let's do a vote. I mean, if it's going to be close... We're talking about the Cherokee Shuffle category. Do we want a 400 level clue or a 500 level clue. I don't know if it makes a difference at all, but uh, but we'll, I guess we'll find out over the course of this game. What do we want? Which difficulty? Seems like you guys are all tied up. Seems like we remain tied up on how difficult we want to go. We haven't done a single 500 question yet. Um, so I wonder if it will be more difficult. Looks like the 500s just barely take it. I'll give it I'll give it just one more second but it looks like the 500s are going to take it. We're going for a 500. Oh, oh, the 400s are taking it now. Maybe I spoke too soon. All right, I'm ending the poll now. Thanks for getting all your votes in. The 400s have spoken. It is going to be a 400 level question in the Cherokee Shuffle category. Here we go. Sounds like just a guitar player and a mandolin player, yeah? Sounds like that to me. Just a just a guitar player and a mandolin player. What duo could it be? <laughs> Marcel, I think I heard the Marcel lick. <laughs> Wait a second, is, is the Marcella in there? <laughs> that is the Marcel lick. Okay, I think it's unanimous that you guys all think it's me. The lick hit different. Oh, I love it. I love that everyone's just like, oh, that's the Marcel lick. We got a couple votes for Billy Strings. I see a Strings. I see a Billy and Don Julian. Um, I, you know what? I think this one's in the bag. But let's, let's, let's put it to a vote. Who do we think it is? I mean, we haven't had Billy come up yet. We also haven't had me come up yet, though. So that's mighty suspicious. Um, do we think that is me playing Cherokee Shuffle? Or do we think that is Billy Strings playing Cherokee Shuffle? I love that the game has come to this. <laughs> oh, that's deeply funny to me. We're all tied up, really? We're all tied up. I think the Marcells might just take it. I could tell that Marcellic from a mile away. Michael Mark, do you play the Marcellic? Do you have that one in your in your pocket? This is the lick that I'm being chastised for. It's this lick. <laughs> Are you trying to sway the vote? <laughs> I mean, by playing the lick, I think I might have swayed the vote my way. Everyone thinks it's me. Um, I learned it at one point, and I think I forgot it. Don't learn it again. It'll be the only lick that you play. It's Billy doing his impression of the Marcellic. I wish. Okay, everyone thinks it's me. Everyone thinks it's me. Let's see who it actually is. And it is me. <laughs> Go 
Good work, guys. Good work sussing that one out. I, <laughs> here's the funny thing. I honestly heard that. I heard that. I listened to it the first time and I had no idea it was me. And then someone, I, I guess Michael Mark, whoever said that's the Marcellic, um, I was like, oh, <laughs> is that me? <laughs> All right, that is a win, gang. We are now positive 100. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's sneak the Mario Kart lick into the next Bluegrass Coalition jam we could. If any of you use my lick in a Bluegrass Coalition submission, I will be so proud. All right. Oh, hey, it says Team 1. It should say Wagon Dragons down here. I wonder when it did that. Okay, we are at 100. Good work calling that one out, guys. I'm impressed. I couldn't even tell it was me. Michael Mark recognized my own playing faster than me. That is uh, a little scary. All right. <laughs> uh, we got Church Tree, we got Cherokee, and we got Nine Pound Hammer. <laughs> Where do we go next, gang? We are running out of squares as we reach the mid game here. Uh, do, do we want to go back to Church Street Blues? We got a win and an L over there. Cherokee Shuffle. I think we got a win and an L. And then Nine Pound Hammer was all wins, baby. I mean, we only did one there, but we did get a win there. Looks like Church Street is taking the lead. Anyone else got any other feelings? Now nah, it seems like we're going for Church Street. That's good. That's enough for me. I will accept that. Now, Church Street, we want 100, 300, or 500. Um, I don't, I don't know what remains. I mean, we are, we are getting kind of close to that. That end game. I made a poll this time. I don't know why I did it different. But now that we only have a few choices, maybe it's worth voting in the poll real quick. It seems like people want 100 or 500. <laughs> uh, haven't done a 100 yet. We also haven't done a 500 yet, man. Um, I think 500's pulling ahead. People want the 500 one. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, I'll accept that. I see 500 is pulled ahead. Unless it changes in the next couple seconds, we're going for 500. Yep, that's it. Okay, 500 level question, Church Street Blues. Here we go. If you guys don't get this, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be so disappointed in all of you. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing in the Church Street Blues category. My <laughs> Michael Mark says it's the Punch Brothers. I think you I think you might have it, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's a spicy version. All right. <laughs> what a travesty. <laughs> Van Halen. Okay, all right. We don't we don't have to sit around for this one. Everyone knows. Everyone knows it is the Punch Brothers. Could have picked the outro to make it harder. Uh, I could have, but this is just infinitely funnier, I guess. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we were right. And of course, we were. <laughs> uh, good work, gang. Uh, let's give us, let's give it those points. We're up to 600. I love it. Uh, let's see what we're doing next. That 500 was ironically the easiest one on the list. 
<laughs> you know, I assumed choice tree blues would be so difficult that it made sense to have a gimme. You got to make up all the points that you lost on all the other questions. Uh, okay, we're doing church street, we're doing Cherokee, or we're doing nine pound. I'm, I'm fairly certain, I mean, maybe I shouldn't speak so soon, but it's kind of looking like we're going to end in the positives, which maybe maybe is our end goal. We just want to keep a positive score. But, uh, I mean, we certainly could lose that lead. It wouldn't be too difficult if we lost a handful of questions in a row, but let's see if we can keep our positive lead here. Best game ever. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing Nine Pound Hammer take the lead. That is good. Everyone just shout out and chat for me. Instead of instead of doing a poll, just shout out if you want 100, 300, 400, or 500. Remember that if you see someone else shout out a number that you like, you can second them so we can move along a little faster. Just tell me what difficulty you want. Three hundred. No seven right here in the melody. Lots of 500s now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see where we're at now. Um, we got, uh, we got way more 500s. We got to go for the 500 question. Okay, 500 and what was this? Nine pound hammer? 500, nine pound hammer. Here we go. Did Marcel do something tricky here? That's not a flat picker. That ain't flat picking. Who could it be? Michael Marks has Merle Travis. It's a good guess. Abe says Doc. That's another great guess. Let's listen one more time. Okay, it looks like we're pretty split between Merle Travis and Doc Watson. So let's do that vote. Uh, here we go. Merle Travis. Doc Watson. I'll set up this vote. We'll let's do it one more time. Who do we think that is? You know, there were so many Doc Watson folks, and then I put up the poll, and Merle Travis just shot ahead. Although, now we're tied up. Now we're tied up. Okay. Do we think that's Merle Travis? We think that's Doc Watson. That sway sounds so much like Merle. Mm hmm Like the, the groove aspects. I mean, we've heard Doc Watson play things like this. Uh, we got 18 votes, and we are tied right in the middle. If you have not voted yet in the uh, poll that's in chat, you should vote. Do we think that's Merle Travis or Doc Watson? Looks like Doc Watson's pulling ahead. He's pulling ahead. I don't know I want to finish the poll yet because I feel like we're split on this one. We got 21 votes, though, and we're in favor of Doc Watson just by a hair. Just by a hair. I got some people who are saying that it might be Chet Atkins and it might be Tommy Emanuel. I don't know about that. I feel like the recording sounds older than the, uh, than, you know, anything by Tommy Emanuel would be. Black and white video of Merle Travis sitting down on a TV show. <laughs> That's a very specific guess. Uh, it looks like, it looks like Doc Watson is holding the lead though, despite all the Merle Travis talk in chat. Looks like we're going with Doc Watson. So let's see. 
who actually played this break. I'm sorry, gang. It looks like that is indeed a Merle Travis break and not a Doc Watson break. Merle Travis fans, you had it, man. You just had to shout a little louder and you would have won that thing. Unfortunately, that was a 500 level question. We do have to take away 500 points, which takes us down to a 100 point lead. Remember that that lead can disappear quite quickly, as I was saying earlier. So we... We, we generally want to get these questions right. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was Marcel again. It was me playing the break all along again. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going this time, guys? We got Church Street Blues. We got Cherokee Shuffle. And we got Nine Pound Hammer, as always, today. Um, we're going to do another poll just to see where we want to get in there. Liz says, dude, good call, Seneca. Whatever. Seneca's out there cheating. I know that guy. He's out there scaring YouTube videos on his second monitor. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of the video he would just know immediately. He'd have that in his back pocket. Uh, <laughs> looks like everyone wants to do Church Street. Okay, there's only two options. They can only... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Church Street and Nine Pound Hammer are now tied. Uh... Keep shouting. This is, I think, the most split poll we've had so far. Y'all can't decide where you want to go. Come on, keep voting. Clear it up. I know we're literally all tied up. With 18 votes, we have 33% in every category. That's just not going to do. Cherokee Shuffle is pulling ahead now. Really? That's shocking. It seemed like you guys were feeling good about... The vocal tunes, maybe not. Come on, I'm out walking. <laughs> Mike, you you called that video cold. Uh, well, you're, you're outside on a walk and you knew you were like, oh, black and white video of Merle Travis. That's very impressive if it's true. We got 21 votes and we are still tied up. It is still 33% in every category. If, if we don't get a, uh, if we don't get a victor in this poll quickly, then uh, I may have to decide for you. And I'm going to pick a 100 because we haven't done a single 100 yet. Which may take your score all the way down to just perfectly zero. All right, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any more activity. I'm thinking that I'm going to choose for you. I'm choosing for you, gang. I'm sorry, but this is how the game has to work because I want to keep it moving. I'm picking, ooh, do I want to pick... I think I'm going to pick Cherokee Shuffle for 100. I think that's what we're going to go for. Yes, we're doing Cherokee for 100. Here we go. So it's just, once again, it's just a guitar player and a mandolin player, isn't it? Huh. How, how clean it is and the way the articulations are used makes me think that it's a modern player. So people who are guessing like Billy Strings, Brian Sutton, I think you're on the right track. I think that's the kind of player this is. Are we unanimous with a with a Brian vote? Oh no, we got we got a couple Billies in there. Here, let's have a vote real quick. So we got we got a Billy Strings. Or we got a Brian Sutton. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Too slidey to be Billy. That's an interesting 
thing to bring up. I guess that's true. Billy plays with a harder right hand than this. Also true. It's either Brian or Billy playing like Brian. Yeah, let's listen again. It seems like we tend to think that it's Brian Sutton. I see Brian Sutton pulling ahead in the poll right now. That's interesting to me. There's a little more action for Billy Strings now, but I think Brian Sutton is going to be the winner. I'll give it, I'll give it one more second. I'll just take a drink of water, see if it changes. I don't see a change in. You guys think it's Brian Sutton. All right, computer, show me Brian Sutton. Show me Brian Sutton. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Good call, guys. That is plus 100. Let's continue on with our game here. Um... It was Brian playing like Brian. It was indeed, um, which is a shocking turn of events, uh, especially. <laughs> well, actually, we'd expect that in the uh, in the Church Street Blues category because it's everyone playing like Tony Rice, uh, except for the Punch Brothers. Um, okay, let's see where we're going now. <laughs> try not try not to tie this vote up all the way. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> we're gonna clear this board. We're going all the way to the end. Do we, do we want to go to Church Street Blues? Do we want to go to Cherokee Shuffle? Or do we want to go to Nine Pound Hammer? Uh, yeah, Seneca, I see you were, you were so high off that Merle Travis win that you were like, actually, we didn't win on that one. You just said it was Merle Travis, but we all voted Doc Watson. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> looks like everyone wants to go to Nine Pound Hammer. That is fine with me. What level do we want to do at nine pound hammer? Do we want a 100 level? We want 300 or we want 400? Just shout it out to me. Tell me what we want. Nine pound hammer, 100, 300, 400. What's the difficulty that we want? like 400 is taking it here is your nine pound hammer level 400 here is our clue who is it This is a long break. This is a long break. Do we need list of that whole thing? My grounds for divorce burritos are done. Good night, all. See you later, Brad. Um, <laughs> Michael Mark says Tony in all caps. I mean, it's a long break. It's very jammy and it's weird. Okay, that, that beginning lick seems a little divisive here. It says, there's no one else who does stuff, who does that stuff. Good Lord. <laughs> Billy Strings, Billy probably. If that's not Billy, I quit. It is a live video. We can hear people like hollering and stuff.
here's what I'm dealing with. Michael Marks so affirmatively said Tony in all caps, and he is kind of a Tony Rice expert. And uh, and there's a lot of stuff in there that is Tony stuff. But that beginning is super weird. That is something super jam bandy that Billy would do. But I've heard like 15 minute versions of me and my guitar where Tony gets super weird. So in my head, I'm thinking like, hey, that's Tony Rice. Um, but I hear the I hear the Billy strings argument too. I just wonder if the rest of it after that weird lick, like you can't ignore the rest of it after the weird lick. Is that something that Billy would play? I'm not sure it is. Video's too new for Tony. That's true. That's true. It is too new for Tony. Um, so it's someone trying to sound like Tony Rice then. Um, and Billy Strings normally doesn't try to sound like Tony Rice. Like a lot of this is kind of Tony stuff. I mean, he even did that one. I'm not sure I've ever heard Billy play that like. Oh yeah, everyone is saying Billy. We literally have no second. I mean, we have we have people saying it's not Tony, and we have like maybe two people saying Tony. So, I mean, it's almost it, it's almost everyone saying Billy strings. I'll eat my hat if this is Billy strings. Okay, I will stall no longer. We think it is Billy Strings. We got a couple people shouting Luke Bryan, which is good. Could be. Um, there's a few people that think it's Tony, but they are way outnumbered by the people that think it's Billy. Okay, let's let's reveal the correct response. Was it Billy? I'm sorry, guys. Looks like it was Josh Williams. Josh Williams pretending to be Tony Rice. What did Michael Mark say? Michael Mark said, if it feels like it's Tony Rice, but it's a little bit off, then it's Josh Williams. And <laughs> if if we could have followed that advice, if we could have remembered that it was, that it sounded like Tony, but it was just a little bit off, we would have known it was Josh Williams. It all makes sense now. Yeah, it does. It does all make sense now. Not Billy. <laughs> the crowd noise, I think, makes makes it feel like Billy, too. I'm sorry, guys. I got to take away 400 points. Uh... <laughs> Um, it's Voltorb. No, it's Jigglypuff from the top. <laughs> Good one. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, instead of uh, using an image of Alec Trebek's uh, neck, I was going to use a picture of who's that Pokemon. I like that little screen, but I didn't go for it. Maybe next time. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back and let's keep playing this game. We have very few things left on the board. Almost enough for me to put them all in one poll, but I can't do that yet, so... Instead, I'm still asking where we go, and your options are Church Street, Cherokee, and Nine Pound Hammer, the same way they've always been, and we're going to have just a few more votes, man. Let's get to the end of this game, and let's see if we can pull out of this negative 200 slump. Right now, we are, you know, it's we're so close. It's not that bad. It's not that negative. You know, we could pull out of this. We just need to get some, like, some dubs. Uh, you know, we were we were like 600 ahead at one point, weren't we? We just need to get a couple wins. Everyone was fooled by the crowd noise. Yeah, and the weird chords at the beginning. I think so. Um, it looks like Church Street is the vote. If you haven't voted in the poll, remember to vote in the polls. Okay, everyone wants Church Street. I'm just going to go with it. We're ending that poll. Thank you so much for voting. Do we want 100 or 300 from Church Street? 
I'm, I think I'm going to do a poll for this one. Don't shout that one out. Let's say 100 or 300 um, in the Church Street Blues category. What do we want? Because this is going to be a tight vote, right? We don't know. 100 could be super easy. Um, we also haven't found Tony Rice in the Church Street Blues category. I don't remember if I put Tony Rice in the Church Street Blues category, but there is that to think about. Could we recognize a real Tony break? Um, because I don't think we've had one yet. <laughs> uh, looks like most people are going for 300. You're thinking you're going to recoup your losses now that our score is sitting at negative 200. I think that's a good idea. Maybe I'll, I'll wait for a vote or two to roll in. Hillbilly guy, how you doing? We're playing a game right now. Um, well, the game, if you're just joining us, is all about guessing who that flat picker is. We listen to a recording and we try to figure out who it is. That's it. <laughs> this is so much fun. You ought to make three or four of these and stick them in a folder for nights when you're fried but still want to stream. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. We are tied, by the way. We're perfectly tied at 50-50. For Church Street Blues, 100 difficulty or 300 difficulty, please weigh in in that poll. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about my lick. <laughs> Sometimes I take it farther up. the same idea though looks like 300 has just barely pulled ahead unless i see any changes we're going for church street blues 300 i think that's the choice i think that's the way things are going all right i'm going to end the poll here we go church street 300 what do we got in here Do we need to listen to it again? Does everyone know what it is after one time through? I suspect you do. It's the homespun video, without a doubt. <laughs> the video is burned into our brains. Here's the funny thing. I don't wanna, you know, uh, create confusion amongst the ranks, but we did think it was the homespun video once before. We did think it was the homespun video once before and everyone said it was that. So it's funny that we hear this and we're like, no, this is more homespun video. Although, <laughs> although it does sound like the homespun video. It for sure is. <laughs> Of course, 300, dead in the middle. It's got to be the baseline, <laughs> OG Tony. Yeah, it's like centers of gravity pulling away from Tony. <laughs> He's got to be the 300. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, then I'll take what is Corbin KFC for 300 points. <laughs> okay, except for Hillbilly, who voted, <laughs> who voted for the first KFC <laughs> ever established. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone has voted for Tony. Um, so <laughs> if we keep shouting, it'll eventually be right. Yeah, that's right. So let's see. Is this, is this Tony Rice? We don't, <laughs> we don't have to check. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it is the video. Y'all were right. Of course this is it. It's so recognizable. And congratulations, that pulls us into the positive by 100. Love to see it, gang. Love to see it. We're back in the positives. Uh, let's go back over here. We only have four options remaining. So we're going to put all of these in a poll. And we're going to see where we want to go. 
So there's church feet for 100. There is Cherokee for 200. There is nine pound for 100. And there is nine pound for 300. Where do we want to go, gang? Good job on that win. You deserved it. Church Street Blues is a hard category. Um, I should put myself in that category. Whoops, next time. I'm going to write down the order we vote for these last questions, right? And then we don't have to do so many polls. Is that a good idea? I feel like that's a good idea. We are deciding... <laughs> right now, we are deciding the order of the last four questions. Vote in the poll. This is This is big. This is what order we're going to do the last four questions in. Oof. Um, I assume in uh, in relation to how many votes they get, right? So whatever gets the most votes, we're going to do right away. Whatever gets the least votes, we're going to save to last. We could save Cherokee 500 for the final boss. We could. Although I think it's going to win. How about Foggy Mountain Breakdown for 2000? a side poll to see if people know what I'm making for dinner? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Cherokee 500? Oh, I left one out! I left one out. Okay, Cherokee 500 is the final boss. I didn't even notice. One, two, three, four, five. This one will be Cherokee 500. You know, you stare, you stare at the board for long enough, you start to go blind. Okay, uh, I am going to end this poll. And this will tell us what order we're going to do next. So next up is nine pound at 300. Then we're going to do Cherokee for 200. Church Street for 100. Uh, nine pound for 100. And then uh, final boss will be Cherokee for 500. Here we go. Your first vote was nine pound for 300. Okay, cool. I'm making A, burgers, B, pork chops, C, salmon, steaks, D, mac and cheese. Uh, I'm going to vote for pork chops. Pork chops is my vote. Moving on. Nine pound hammer, 300. Let's see what we got. Sounded kind of, kind of wild, right? Was that kind of a messy break to anyone else but me? Ah, oh, it's a pickup. Yeah, it sounds like a guitar with a pickup in it for sure. That actually, Michael Mark, that's actually genius. That eliminates a bunch of players actually. Um. Okay, okay. So who does that leave? I mean, Billy does play with a pickup. Is there, is there a guitar player back there playing the wrong chords? Is that... Is there like a second guitar player playing the wrong chords is my question. <laughs> Was it just me or were most of the players on different beats? Yeah. It's, this sounds like kind of a messy like stage jam. Like if it's a Billy, if it's a Billy break, Billy is on stage with like a different band or something. Right? Because we're, we're disagreeing on some of the chords here for sure. It doesn't sound dockish enough to be Billy, but I have no idea who it might be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think so? I think it could be Billy. 
I mean, whoever it is, it's an uncomfortable situation. I mean, that's just facts. Whoever it is playing this break, this is not ideal. Maybe even playing with like non bluegrass musicians. Or or just like in, you know, on a stage with like terrible monitors or something. Because that D chord at the end, whoever is playing rhythm guitar, he puts it in completely the wrong spot. Um, okay. Do we do we really just think it's Billy? No one else has another guess. Another guitar player with a pickup. Everyone just thinks it's Billy. Okay, I mean, we can lock that in if y'all think it's Billy. But I mean, speak now or forever hold your peace. I don't think it's Billy. It's not his tone. Yeah, I'm guessing a big stage and the monitors aren't set up well. I agree. Does anyone think it's not Billy? I guess is the question. Because everyone thinks it's Billy. Okay, okay, we think it's Billy. Let's lock that in. Show us the real response computer. Is this Billy Strings? That's Brian Sutton. Not only is it Brian Sutton, but this is the circumstance we're talking about. We got a big stage, bad monitoring, no one's wearing in-ears, right? Because that would be hell to run. And we got Dirk Spentley putting the D chord in the wrong spot while Brian Sutton tries to play the break. That's what's happening. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what in tarnation? Yeah, it's Dirk Spentley with Brian Sutton trying to play Night Pound Hammer. And this person in the silly hat with the feather is playing harmonica. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> that sounded pretty bad sorry rip this was this is a bad performance but this is what it's about guys you can't just say it sounds like billy because he's plugged in other people can plug in okay that that was an l we're at negative 200 but good news is we can make it back right now with our next pick our next pick was cherokee shuffle 200 if we take this dub then we will be back at zero. So let's see what Cherokee Shuffle 200 sounds like. Here we go. The results of my poll are in. Marcel takes the pot with the only guest for pork chops. Mm. Oh, yeah. Love winning the pork chop poll. Uh, when you order your band on Wish. Yeah, that was a little yikes. <laughs> okay. All right. Train wreck gigs aside, who is this? is a modern player it's just guitar and mandolin it could be a duo situation i don't think it sounds like any of those duos i'm familiar with lots of triplets yeah it could be someone who has familiarity with like irish music or something like that too because some of those aren't just triplets some of them are like cuts and taps which is how irish musicians do them um jake eddie is an interesting guess it's an interesting guess I feel like Jake's a little more aggressive. Maybe I'm crazy. When it's just a mandolin backing, it makes me want to guess Billy. <laughs> it's not Billy. It's way too clean to be Billy. It's Sierra Hole's husband. What's his name? Justin Moses. Justin Moses is a guess. Tim May. Brian Sutton. Brian Sutton's an okay guess, too. It's definitely one of these sort of modern, classy players. Greer? I don't think it's Greer. Cuts and taps, question mark. Yeah, Irish musicians. These are cuts and taps. So those are several cuts and taps put together to make the ornament. They're 
they're kind of different than just like playing a triplet necessarily because uh, they do them in all kinds of, you know, particular circumstances, kind of like in this break. It's just like a genre specific term. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it's David Greer. David Greer would get more bizarre. Also, didn't we already see David Greer in this category? I feel like we did. Um, I think Brian Sutton is an okay guess. It doesn't feel super like Brian Sutton to me. Also, didn't we already get him in this category? It's probably not him. Um, I don't think I did any repeats in any categories. Not Jake Workman. Uh, Molly, question mark. I think Molly Tuttle might be an underrated guess. I don't think anyone has said Molly Tuttle yet, but I think that's not a bad guess. Um, Dan Crary, I don't think it's Dan. Um, it's kind of so I like Justin Moses. If you're if you were asking me what guesses I like the most, I think Justin Moses and Molly Tuttle are the best guesses. Um, but we've only had one guess for Molly, so maybe I'm the weird one out. Um, because that happened before. I said that it might be someone and it wasn't. Um, I see a handful of votes for Jake Eddy, too. I'm not sure I feel that one as much. I'm trying to figure out who we have the most votes for so we can do a separate poll. Um, because I see a handful of Jake Eddies. I see a lot of Brian Suddens, but I really don't think it's Brian Sudden because I didn't do repeats in any category. At least I don't think I did. Marcel, question mark. I don't think it's me. The wet sock chop of Sam Bush. Yeah, listen to that. There's a cut in the end. That's a, I feel like that's a very distinctive thing. Few players can like do that that cleanly because it's so much a part of a different genre. Um, Critter, no, nah, I don't think it's Workman. Um, it sounds a little underplayed for Molly, to be honest. I feel like she'd tread it more. That's an okay take, yeah. Yeah, Molly could get weirder. Um, this is kind of a tough one because you guys are all over the map. Uh, I feel like we have the most votes for Justin Moses, which I feel like is a great choice. Um, maybe I should just pick a couple here. I'm not sure that it's Justin locking it in. Justin. Okay. If we all think it's Justin, then let's just vote that. Um, is there anyone who's super opposed to locking in Justin Moses? The backing Mando is kind of reminiscent of Sierra. See, that's uh, that's a good guess too, because they're like, they're doing one of those like little like couple shows and they're playing together and like it's just the two of them or like they're demoing, you know, like some pickup or something, right? They're like doing one of those. <laughs> I feel that. Okay, we're locking in Justin. We think it's Justin Moses. Computer, tell me who it is. I think we got the wrong couple, guys. That bums me out. Honestly, that kind of bums me out. It was a Molly. I'm so sorry, guys. I got to take away 200 more points. We are now negative 400, but we're still playing a hell of a game. Um, Justin Moses was a great guess. Was a great guess. I was right there with you guys. Um, unfortunately, it was not Justin Moses. It was Molly Tuttle and Tristan Scroggins. Um, uh, someone did suggest Molly. I did. We did talk through that choice. Whoever it was, good on you. You knew better. Good golly, it's Molly. It is. <laughs> I know, we literally picked the wrong couple. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. 
let's let's go back let's go back and let's do our next one uh, our next one is going to be Trishy Blues for 100, so let's go check that guy out. It's okay, guys. Keep the spirits high. Keep the spirits up. Uh, the real points are the laughs we had along the way. That's true. You know, the real points in the game Guess That Flat Picker are the friends we made along the way. Trishy Blues for 100. This has got to be a dub. Tell me who it is. I'm not going to say anything. I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not the toughest one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like it's unanimous, yeah? All right, computer, show us who it is that's covering the Norman Blake version of Church Street Blues. Here we go. It was Norman. Good work, guys. <laughs> Watch it be Justin Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would have been top 10 anime betrayals right there if it was uh, Justin Moses playing Church Street Blues like Norman Blake. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, next time, put that in a 500 slot and we will do better. It's true. Although you guys got the 500 for Church Street Blues. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Norman Blake must have been a time traveler. How else could he have covered Tony Rice before Tony's version came out? So true. So true. All right, guys. We are down to the last two. Of course, Cherokee Shuffle for 500 is going to be our final boss. It'll be our chance to zero out even if we lose to this one. So let's hope we get Cherokee Shuffle 500. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but first, got to do 9-pound hammer for 100. Here we go. What is it? <laughs> Should I say anything? You guys tell me who is that. We got one vote for Tony Rice, a second vote for the 90s radio rock band Tonic. Another vote for Tony Rice. Uh, could it be? Is it Tony? <laughs> yes. Loco Joe has been burned so many times before that he's reluctant to answer. Is it? Could it be Tony? Uh, Tony. Is it Dweezil Zappa? I don't think so. Tony. Uh... Let's see. I, I. It seems like everyone thinks it's Tony. Should I... Dare I suggest that it could, in some world, be Josh Williams because we've been we've been burned before. Personally, I think it's Tony. I think it sounds like Tony. Um, but could it could it be Josh Williams? And could we be idiots? Yes, that is an option too. I just want to you know hear what you guys have to say on that one. You hear Vassar in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, that little fiddle thing at the very end. Oh, no, it's going to be Justin, isn't it? Yeah, who thinks it's Justin Moses? Marcel, question mark? No, it ain't me. Tony sounding like Josh. <laughs> okay, computer, tell me that it's Tony Rice, please. 
Yes. When the wheels all go. Hell yeah, boys. We're only at negative 300 now. We are killing it. Negative 300 means we're going to hit positive 200 as soon as we beat our final boss, Cherokee Shuffle, for 500. Who's going to be playing Cherokee Shuffle? Let's find out. I feel like I didn't get enough information. It's either Critter or Andy Falco, 100%. Oh, Michael Mark thinks it's from that one video. Someone go watch the entire Station In video and figure out which break it is. Um, those pull-offs, Billy? <laughs> Uh, I, White Rice, no, Brian Sutton, no, I don't mean shut y'all down, I'm just thinking like, is it that person, I don't know, kind of sounds like Justin Moses to me. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't want to influence, but the, uh, I mean, I do want to influence. I've been influencing all along. I am the puppeteer and you are my puppets. No, um, I, this, this, uh, Casey Webb says critter, nice and weird. And I'm kind of feeling that, right? Like the weird syncopation, these weird little like triplet pull off things. They're kind of bizarre things that like critter likes to, uh, get vulnerable with his breaks, right? He like picks things that he might not succeed at. Um, and that, that kind of makes me feel like it could be a critter break. My roommate thinks it's Taylor Swift. Uh, your roommate's fired. Again with Justin Moses? Yeah, totally a Justin Moses break right here. Uh, Anthony Falco's neighbor. It's Sierra Hole. Definitely sounds like Critter. I'm seeing the most votes for Critter, I think. Um, it's hard to pick at second place. Watch it be Banjo Ben. That's such a good idea. Next time we play this game, I'm doing all Banjo Ben breaks. Um, all right. Who? <laughs> I, I see the most votes for Critter. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I see... I see maybe three people voting for Andy Falco. Okay. Okay, we're voting it out. It's the last one. It's the last one. I can't decide. It would be wrong of me. We know that it's from the uh, Station In video. We're wondering if it's Critter or Andy Falco because it's not Josh Williams. Josh Williams is the other guy in that video. Um, who do we think it is? I'm creating a poll. Just vote. Is it Chris Eldridge? AKA Critter, or is it Andy Falco? Okay, everyone thinks it's Critter. <laughs> you know what's funny about this is that Loco Joe said that he's gonna vote for Andy Falco, which means that Loco Joe still won't take a dub on this one, um, which I find very enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> Critter sounds logical, uh, but they get weird in the Station In video. Mm -hmm. I can feel that. I see where you're coming from. Okay, I'm ending this poll. We already got 20 votes in it, and it looks like we're really feeling Critter. Computer, please show me Critter. Please show me Critter for the win. Hell yeah. 
him. That's plus 200, boys. There it is. Wagon Dragons, take it with 200 points. Uh, there was several thousand points on the board. Um, so finishing with 200 is a solid dub. <laughs> well, well done, gang. Well done. Everyone, hey, why don't you give yourself a round of applause? Everyone, everyone give me some claps in the chat, please. Hard clap there. Good, good game. Good game. And here's the thing. I was certain we were going to do terribly at this. <laughs> I set this all up. And I was thinking, man, this is way too hard. There's no way that any good result is going to come out of this. And we ended up with a positive score, which is just remarkable. Remarkable. What a good time that was. Yeah, we'll have to play this thing again. This was too much fun not to play it again. A win is a win. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. <laughs> oh. Dude, here's the thing. I have to say this. Um... This game is from Jacob, okay? Jacob with a Y. Uh, and we're I, I love that Jacob came up with this idea, but Jacob wasn't on the stream here today. Um, so maybe when Jacob watches the playback, he can see all of you guys shout him out. Would, would all of you guys mind saying thank you, Jacob, for this idea? Because this wouldn't have happened without him. This was a brilliant idea. Thank you so much, Jacob, for me, <laughs> for for giving me this idea so I could make this ridiculous game board and do this. But uh, I'm sure he'd really appreciate it if you guys gave him gave him some shouts down there. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three. Thank you, Jacob. That's right. That's what we're doing. What a good game, guys. I... <laughs> <laughs> I love that the stream keeps evolving and we keep finding like other new things to do, but I love that they're all the weird, bizarre things that I latch on to. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh... Thank you so much for that, for that love for Jacob. He, uh, he deserves it for sure for coming up with this idea. I have no idea what I'm thanking Jacob for, just following orders. This game that we just finished playing was from Jacob, and we really appreciate him sharing that idea with us so we can make this happen. Um, still convinced that the last one was Justin Moses. JK, all of them were Justin Moses. Uh, try to keep, catch up. <laughs> uh, guys, it has been a great one. It has been a wonderful stream. I love that you all enjoyed the game so much. Maybe we'll even do it next week if I have time to set up another board. Um, next at TNT module where we roll performance checks for how good our solos went. Uh, surely someone's made that, right? Do I have to be the person to make that? <laughs> because I will. <laughs> where <laughs> it's a TNT campaign where you're a mid-level national act and you, <laughs> and you, you have to drive eight hours to Cleveland to make $500 from the gig. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I play that campaign. Uh, Mason, I'm glad you finished painting the fence. We're calling it for the day. We just finished our game. I'm sorry, Mason. We're we're wrapping things up right when you're coming in. Um, next time there's gonna have to be a Bluegrass Coalition break thrown in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, critical Bard. Yes, for sure. Um, <laughs> Uh, you have to make, like, constitution checks because you eat, like, a lot grilled cheese sandwich. All right, gang. Liz, create that, and I'll run it on stream. Uh, <laughs> I will DM that game on stream. <laughs> uh, all right, gang. I got I to gotta call it for the day. Um, if you want to keep hanging it out, remember you can check out the Discord. Um, I'll see you all soon for another one of these games and for more transcribing and all the normal stuff we usually do. Um, watch out on Mondays for new videos. Of course, we always stream on Tuesdays. And Wednesdays and Fridays are now the days that Reels come out. So now that we got that like transcription Reel format, I'm going to be doing those every week. Anyway, gang, thank you so much for hanging out.
Uh, Hillbilly guy says, "Hey, what's the deal with my pick color? Am I special?" Yeah, if you've been, um, if you've been here for multiple years or something, you get the golden pick. I don't remember how long it is. Is it is it a year, and then you get it? Uh, but yeah, you are special, Hillbilly guy. Super special, special to me. Anyway, gang, <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you all later. You have a good night. Uh, we'll talk soon. So I'll do a count to lead it in. One, two, three, four. Prejudice to guitars that have plastic backs. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Tighter sound. Feel free to experiment around with it. things I should mention now is that first off neither the rhythm through there nor the improvising part over the rhythm were what I would consider the ideal but I think you get the point